All righty, here we go. Why do you shun the darkness? <laughs> Come on, I know you heard me. Every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. It is time you learned you must accept it. What do you mean? Stop resisting. Accept the darkness. You have no choice. If you are to serve me again. Where's Ansem? I thought it was you, Ansem. Oh, you don't seem surprised. All you have been talking about is the darkness. I can only assume you want to pull me back in so you can play puppet master. Clever boy. I knew you'd be the one to most appropriately serve me. And now, surrender to me again. You're crazy! Not a chance! Did you really think you could do me harm? A weakling like you couldn't even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. I agree, Doctress. Oh, oh excuse me for being weak. You are weak. You need darkness. Surrender. Bow to darkness. Bow to me. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Only the darkness can offer to you all of the strength that you will need. You're wrong. Oh. Is that Mickey Mouse? That voice. Your Majesty? That's right. Remember, Riku, you're not alone. Listen close. The light will never give up on you. You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. I got it. I won't lose to darkness. Not today. You think that feeble little light can save you from the darkness that I command? I answer more already. That's um, unexpected. You shall feel the darkness everywhere. Give me all you've got. I'll give it right back. tutorial rapid break quickly break the opponent's card for a boost in attack not giving up yet i wonder how much of this you can take i'm just going along until you give up do the same value cards your opponent and press triangle uh. oh man Okay, this is like the dueling mechanic then that I have um, seen about, I guess. Come on. Okay. Interesting. For the same value card as the opponent and press triangle to start. Break all the enemy's cards to execute a slide, but you will need more than eight cards. Okay. Is that it? What? Is that all you got? It seems to me that you are intent on resisting the darkness. All right, then see it for yourself. Huh? This is a card crafted from your memory. Advance through the world it creates, and soon you will understand. Chasing after light is not the way. It will not give you distance from the darkness. There is no running from the darkness. Don't worry, I'm not running. Give it. I'll enter the world and in the end, if I haven't given in to the darkness, then I win. I have one more gift for you. Oh. 
What'd you do? I simply tempered the darkness that yet remains in your heart. You still think that I'd rely on darkness? To use it or not is your choice. I'll be waiting, Riku, for you to sense it and yield to the darkness in your heart. In D mode. Activating dark mode. Dark mode can be activated when you have accumulated maximum dark points through card breaks. In dark mode, your skills are powered up and you have more slights to choose from. DP is lost when your card is broken or you receive damage. Riku returns to normal when your DP reaches zero. Okay. To increase dark points during dark mode, choose darkness boost when leveling up. Okay. And we got four new locations to choose from. Alrighty. Did we did we all write that down? It's gonna be on the test later, guys. Don't I even warrant a hello, Lexius? What is going on here, Zexian? I want an explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. It's such a shame. The organization used to be the rope that bound us together. You're only number six. How dare you? Let it go, Vexen. Zexion, tell us. What did you detect? Visitors. I picked up two scents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was Maleficent. Don't be absurd. The witch is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you would let me finish, the scent belonged not to the real Maleficent, but to a very convincing double. But I truly cannot say much beyond that, since the double is no more. Our other visitor saw to that. And who is it? I do not know for sure. But the scent was very similar to that of the superior. And yet, not exactly the same, was it? This truly piques my curiosity. Now, what to do? We wait. See what develops. Something smells funny. What's that scent? It's so familiar. <gasps> darkness. It's the smell of darkness. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. The darkness even seeped into my skin. Don't worry, Riku. <gasps> Your Majesty! Finally get to see Mickey. <laughs> oh, what happened? I can see right through you. Funny, huh? I can only send a bit of my power to this place. That's why I've got a request for you. Request? Listen, Riku. Just because darkness holds you, don't let go of who you are. You've got to fight the darkness inside you. It won't be easy to do, I know. But please don't forget, even in the darkest darkness, there's always a little bit of light. Light within darkness. You and I have seen it. The far welcoming light inside the door to darkness. 
the light of Kingdom Hearts. It will show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. That's a request from my heart. Okay. I'll do my best. Trust me. I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll get there. I promise. Oh. You're an illusion. Don't worry. We shook hands in our hearts, remember? We're connected, you and me. Guess we are. Okay. Grab a save, and then we will move into our uh, second area here. Which will be... Acrobar. A little bit um i'm gonna be i'm interested now to see how the um these darkness points things work in the game as well like i get how the dueling works which looks like it could be quite interesting to actually be able to like go through the cards quick enough but um yeah let's uh let's see i'll get these dp going i also wonder actually can't even move my cards around, which is interesting. Also, I've got less cards in my hand. That's not good. All right, this area looks very short. Ah, uh, no, Nepis went to sleep. He said he was going to sleep, so. Yikes. I mean, I don't know how that's working, but it's working. <laughs> Take this. Okay, that, I missed that there, but they wanted somebody wanted to draw me there. Using Mickey now, I have a way to heal. That's interesting. All right, let's have a darkness boost. Again, not really sure how that's probably going to impact me, but worth having it, right? No, I don't think I have seen it, uh, Doctor, to be fair. I feel like like with this new darkness points we can actually get through these areas a bit quicker now, which is gonna be pretty good. I think there's a um can activate it with a slide. Okay, that's interesting. Right, I'm trying to like, take it out this large body and you keep... Um... Okay, so then we took damage and we lose the, the dark points. That's fine. 
Do you want to uh, post a link and we'll I'll have a quick look at it? Challenge. So how long did that take you, Doctoress? Just out of um, curiosity. Mommy asking. Missing out on some of these jewels here. Too slow. Two days, talking about four or five. Good texturing. Okay. How much? Um. But how long is it? How long is? You, I have to, I can put this question. How long? How much time have you spent to get to that point? Oh, like, like yeah. I know you say obviously four or five days to get to that point. how much kind of like experience i guess is what i'm asking have you got in blender now i guess is kind of like since i don't know i don't think i'm being very articulate with what i'm trying to ask but i hopefully you kind of get what i'm trying to ask i'll turn two in a bit years Jeez, okay Is that all the, so is that all, is that two and a half years of just like doing it in college and, or is that, does that include kind of like stuff that you've done in your own time as well? Okay, okay. So yeah, just a bit over two years. And if you don't mind me asking, how do you feel about like where you are now after having spent that time?
be quite interesting now that like, there's no cap on... It's like there's a cap on my level increases, so... I mean, if it's anything like like lighting in uh, general map making in Hammer, it's like lighting is the one thing that I kind of always have struggled with in my uh, Hammer projects. Not that I've released many Hammer projects, of course, but. You want to kind of, you know, continue and you've found something that you're passionate about and really interested. So it's good to have passion projects, definitely. Is that something, I know obviously you are, if I remember rightly, you're taking a break at the minute from studying now that you've finished college, but um, is the... Um, is, is that what you kind of want to do at university? Yeah. Oh, these large bodies are really annoying. Jeez, how many cars do I actually need to freaking do on them duels? That's crazy. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. You're still relatively young, so, you know, you've got plenty of time to figure out what you want to do. There's no rush, obviously, in deciding life, uh, life choices right now, so... You know, take your gap here and um, have, a, have, a thought, have a think, sorry, about what it is exactly that you want to kind of do. I'm sure this gap here will be kind of good, really good for you to kind of like refocus yourself and um, better understanding of what you want to do. Sometimes we need to take a, a break away from the things that we we like and the, and the things that we think we want to do. And reflection time is um, does the world a good sometimes. I'm like definitely speaking from experience with regards to like the portal stuff and everything. So. At the end of the day, like I say, though, you're you're still you're still young, and there's still like plenty of avenues and options available to you. So there's no need for you to rush into anything. Take your time. 
properly decide whether or not something you want to do is something you can see yourself doing for the rest of it like as a career and obviously uh go from there I mean, at the end of the day, parents just want, like, what's best. They, they just want you to be the best version of you you can be. That's all they'll ever ask. So, although it may seem like they're putting pressure on you, I'm sure they're literally doing it just for, uh, they are trying to be supportive, and they just want to make sure, you know, you, you do what you want to do. It may seem like pressure, but I'm sure they're not really, I'm sure they're deep down, they're not really pressuring you. Alright, so we're uh, we're progressing for Acrobar here. Not really too many jewels as of yet. I, I think that's probably like true of any industry um if i'm honest doctors you'll always when when you like something and, and you're really passionate about it and you, you're you're trying you want to try your best at it you'll always look to other people's work and think i wish i could do like what they're doing or i wish mine was better because of this um i wouldn't beat yourself up too much about it that's just um i think that's perfectly normal to um, compare yourself to other people but the the best kind of the best sort of advice i could give like regards to that is not to be too hard on yourself and if you're looking at other people's work and you're inspired and you're in awe of their work try and use it as an inspiration it's like okay well this this person this person's done this so how can i what can i do to achieve the same sort of thing that's the way I would kind of like look at that. expecting boss fight against Jafar already. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, well that was a bit yikes, but we did it. We beat him. Uh oh. I wasn't expecting that to be the end of Agrabah, to be fair. It's, um kind of caught me a little bit off guard. back to the save point because I'm a little bit worried what else might be coming here. So it's best just to go back and save and um, replenish our health. Continue. Try and keep this like a deathless, no escaping run as well, if I can. I'm also trying that run on my proud mode playthrough of Sora that I've started this week as well. Which I've got to like the last floor of the castle and, and have been able to do, so. Alright, so we need three. Take one that gives our attack cards more power, I guess. That's uh, a good way to go, I, was, I dare say. So the like the D point thing gets activated when we go into a we card break opponents by the looks of it. Dueling is activated when we play the same card as an opponent, but that doesn't seem to happen as much at the minute because we're just kind of bossing through it at the minute. Like get rid of the fat body and um, the heartless just keep like walking in front of where I'm attacking, which is very frustrating. like the way the Riku thing like the Riku setup is working very interesting actually like we're fighting the bosses but it's not at the end of the world it's a little bit uh, different I 
Pretty sweet. seem to be like struggling too much at the minute for um health so we're gonna upgrade our attack points again welcome back doctress It's fine. Not a problem. Um, I was just kind of saying about how, you know, use it, use what other people, like other people's works. If you're inspired by it, let it be an inspiration for you. Don't like feel too bad when you see somebody else do something and you're thinking, oh, I could never do that. You're everybody's capable of doing the same things. So use it as a positive. And like, right, how can I do what they're doing? How can I move myself forward to be as good as them? And deep down, I think it will make you a better, it, it, it makes you a better person when you, you know, you start to be more curious about potentially what other people are doing. Also, take a moment of like, take a moment to reflect on like your journey as well quite important to see how far you've come it's not always about just getting to the end and, and um you know being able to achieve something it's like the the actual journey of you getting there you'll always remember the um there's one of the secret videos in the witness where it's kind of like a guy and he's walking across a courtyard with a candle you may look at it and think to yourself, well, why didn't he just walk to the side of the courtyard and then activate the candle? But the whole point is it's, it's about the journey of getting to A to B rather than just getting to the destination straight away. So, yeah, take, take time to reflect on what you've done and what you've been able to achieve. Be proud of, of where you've come. I think the other thing about what makes it easy to compare yourself is because you don't see the time and experience the ice has compared to you just beginning to get in. Yeah. Exactly. The, everybody, they've all been on the same journey that you are currently on. So there, there will have been a, a, a point at their journey where they, they might feel exactly the same as you do right now. And they're thinking, they're looking at other people's work and thinking, geez, how, how do I, how can I get to there? I want to be there. 
So, again, you're certainly not on your own. It's a journey everybody will have um, taken at some point or another. So, in the words of Linford Christie from a uh, 90s TV commercial, it's all about PMA, positive mental attitude. sure where I need to go here. I just go through to here. I guess I go through to here and then this is the final door. So I guess like Agrabah, like these, I guess these levels with Riku are all on the shorter side. So I guess it's literally like boss fight done. I think that's the like impression I'm getting right now. So we will once again grab a save. move on that caught me off guard I'm used to cutscenes every time we uh, finish an area I have identified the scent it is Riku. Riku, you say? Has he emerged from the realm of darkness? His existence, it was once doubled in the darkness. Fascinating. That's why you mistook him for the superior. The dark power given to Riku facilitated his escape from its realm. What I want to know is why he appeared here in Castle Oblivion. That's really quite simple. His existence resonates with that of another hero. Sora? He's in the castle? He arrived earlier. Marluxia is already using Namine's unique powers to meddle with Sora's heart. Without even bothering to consult us. It seems he desperately wants the Keyblade Master for himself. What a foolish plan indeed. Sora's is not such an interesting existence. The entity that holds true value is Riku, the hero of darkness. And the organization is all over the place, like... 
they're not very like they're not exactly working together seems that they're uh, scheming behind each other's back which I think we saw anyway in um, Sora's story didn't we um, yeah but that's a good way to judge your progress Doctress for sure not just have a look at like your actual renders from like way back when to now but also have a look and think about how long how long things take you like think back to when you first started how long did it take you to create the model like create a base i don't know anything about rendering so correct me if i'm wrong but how long did it used to take you to like, create a base model how long did it used to take you to um sort out the lighting and everything i know it's something you said that you struggled with i mean you said there that your um that one that you showed me a moment ago took you about three to four days so on a project of that scale how long would that have taken you previously all of this, this, there's a number of different factors that you can kind of use to um, identify and gauge your progress here what's going on nathan welcome on in hope you're well good to see you hey do what you gotta do doctress that's fine absolutely fine See what we've got over here. I guess like slides, using slides is a good way to build up my dark points. Attacks a bit of something. Can't increase my attack points at the minute, so it is still capped to a certain degree, which is good to know. Uh, well, of course, um, I don't want to sort of promote myself even more, but there, uh, all of that sort of like discussion and everything will be on the. Um, YouTube uh, video and I can tell you which episode it will be if I check really quickly um, so it will be on episode 31 which will come out on Sunday Doctress don't worry about the caps it's fine not a problem not the grammar police
I don't tend to have the um, mods on um, Twitch available anymore because of depending what I'm doing and what I'm playing is like various uh, potential copyright issues. So yeah, it's just easier to leave them offline. We're clear on this first room. Oh, I didn't even look to see what that was. I was just like, hammer an X. It's a bad habit, I think. Like, I, I this game kind of they teach you, but you kind of get sucked into this game a little bit with bad habits, like because of the button spamming nature of it. You kind of just end up spamming buttons a lot of it and then you kind of do silly things like that where you just menu without meaning to menu so. I was a little bit worried when it started like int introducing the dueling and the um, darkness point thing, but actually, there's not really that much to worry about if I'm honest. It's pretty changed the actual gameplay too much. We're still getting through it pretty quickly. not even like worth like taking your time with it at this point if I'm honest because but the battle system we've kind of like seen how different it is with Riku but there's nothing really like groundbreaking going on here so it is more of a case at the minute of just like getting through it as quickly as we can quite as well tonight without my uh, partner in crime. Anyway, let's um, move on to the next area, I guess.